statistics from the Ministry of Health indicate that so far 90% of patients in Rwanda are being treated from home by community health workers and volunteers to dispensaries. Bimenyiman has been a community health worker for more than five years. There are some old people who come here for treatment of malaria because of the symptoms they have, while others come to treat their children. We can examine about six months. Those who come for health care often have high fever. We get to check them, and in most cases we find they don't have malaria. Out of 12 people recently received, only four of them were suffering from malaria. Jean-Baptiste Biringero, a health digitalization specialist at the Ministry of Health, says that technology is needed for better service delivery. Currently, community health workers are still using paperwork, and in some cases, online technology is not yet available at health centers. We are forced to use paper to make access to patients' information easy and faster. For example, I might examine you and end up asking you questions someone else asked before, which is unnecessary. If there is a way the patient's medical history can be accessed, the doctors look at previous data before doing anything. Even for medicine, records help to determine the patient's condition depending on the person's medical history and one does not need to repeat tests. According to the Ministry of Health, so far district, provincial and state hospitals are using online technology. Of the 513 hospitals in the country, more than 90 have no access to online technology. Mr. Zake Yakaremye, Permanent Secretary of the Rwanda Ministry of Health, highlighted the government's efforts towards ensuring technology transition that allows patient information to be integrated into what is called the One Citizen, One Record. We are currently trying to integrate the medical system with the ID system so that the individual ID will be used by different health facilities to access data. We started collecting information including new birth and death dates. This means one can get one ID that can be used anywhere at any time. So far we have put a plan in place and at different stages of building the basic system including a financial plan and our timeline is 2024 for this to be fully realized at all health centers. There will be no paperwork, only online technology will be used. Health experts and researchers are looking at how every citizen in the country can access medical care wherever they are, at any time, and in an easy way. There's also the possibility that a patient may require a special diagnosis, especially those suffering from infectious diseases. It is also sometimes necessary to share their information using technology. Isabel Masozera, RTV News.